Hello everybody. In today's video, I will show you how to call an external API from SAP. I use a post call and pass a JSON string to this API. To test this, I looked on the website rapidapi.com for a free service that I can pass a JSON string via post call. I already used two times an API of this website, one time for a simple GET request and one time for a file upload. I link these videos on the top right. Today I use an API for translations. For this, I am on the website rapidapi.com and I use the service Albit or AIBit translator. This offers uh, four calls, one JSON calls, where I can pass a JSON string as a URL parameter. This is my JSON, for example, and I have here all information to call this endpoint from ABAP. So we can test this endpoint, we see the result, we can change the URL parameters. For example, now I want to translate this uh, JSON string or this title of the JSON string to uh, a German language, DE. So then I click on the button test endpoint again. And here we see the German translation of this title. Okay, so we go back to the code snippet. For example, code snippet for, for Node.js. And we have all information here for our API call from ABAP. So I go to the SE80 and I already prepared an example program here. And now let's start with the code. I define the URL and I copy this URL from here, from this example code. And I paste it here. Next, we create the client object. We use the create by URL method. This method um, has exporting and importing parameters exporting the URL and importing the client object and some exceptions. Then we check if the call was successful, if not, we close the, the connection. Next, we check if the object is bound. Then we set the method type in our example today it's post then we set the content type and we copy this from the example code from the api website And next we set the two header fields. First, rapid API key. The name of the header field. And second, the value. Copy this from here. This is the API key.
So if you subscribe to this service, you have your own API key. Second, the header field, Rapid API host. And the value. Go back to the website and here is the API host and I paste it here again. Then we um, set the data, the three URL parameters. So I copy the JSON and I copy this to a formatter. So this is the JSON we use, but for my example, I only use title and author. So I delete the other things and I check if the JSON is valid. Yes, it is. So I copy this JSON string to my code window and I remove some spaces, some tabs and then I write the two other URL parameters from and to in this set C data call. So I write from is auto and to is DE for German and then the JSON string. So I copy this and I paste it after the JSON URL parameter. Then I change the title to welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay, so next we set a timeout. And it's zero timeout default. And then we should receive the response. So to check this, I declare two more variables, the HTTP status and the status text. And to read this, I use the method get status. Importing code is my HTTP status and reason is the status text. And then I write this out so, so that I can check if the call was successful or not. status text as well. And then I check if HTTP status is 200, then I read the, the response. So 200 means everything was okay, the call was successful, and we have a, a response. And then I write the result. So, and if, then pretty print and activate. Okay, we have an error because try and catch block. Um, okay, let's close the error window and zoom out a little bit. Okay, there is the uh, and if missing. And I have to close the connection. 
So I write here O client close and then I close with and if. Activate again and I run the I run the program. Okay, then we see we have an HTTP communication failure. This is because we have to insert the certificate from the API host. So I copy this uh, URL and I paste this URL into a browser window. Then I click on the lock here and I download the certificate. It's the rapidapi.com certificate. Then I close the window and I open the transaction as trust. Then double click to SSL client standard. I scroll down and import the certificate. I upload it. Then I go to change to edit mode and I add this certificate to my certificate list. Then I press save and I call the program again and run the program again. And I see now we have uh, an valid status code 200 and we see the translated string. So we check the URL parameter we have here from to and the JSON file. We translate to DE to German the title welcome to my YouTube channel and if I press on run or if I run the program we see this text this title translated to German. Okay if you like my videos subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up also write me something in the comments I always like to read them. Take care and see you on the next video.